hello my friends welcome back to another video so today I am going to be doing another crazy eights pour which I had uh, done I think sometime last week I will link the video below it came out phenomenal I'm gonna show it to you in a minute resin and um, I thought I would go over some simple mixing directions that you can use for all types of acrylic pour techniques that are considered the average consistency type of pour. So what I mean by that is ring pours, dirty pours, straight pours, string pulls, swipes, all those techniques that you see out there except for the Dutch pour and the bloom technique. Now, Oh, and also the pearl technique because two of those are very thin and one of those is very thick in consistency. But I do have videos for all of those techniques if you want to see the consistency listed under my Back to Basics playlist. If you are new to acrylic pouring, first of all, you're on the right channel because all I do is teach how to do it. And second of all, you need to know that each technique can be done several ways and you need to find the way that suits your budget and suits the outcome that you're looking for. So for example, today this crazy eight pour that I wanna do, it's done with a, a regular basic consistency as the others that I mentioned but you can do it several ways. You can do it with ready to pour paints that are already mixed for you. All you would have to do is pour some of this into a cup and then pour it right onto your canvas and voila, you're done. If you wanna have some crazy cells pop out, add a few drops of silicone to each color. This is the simplest way to do acrylic pouring. Another thing that this teaches a new person is what the right consistency is for all of the techniques except for those three that I mentioned. This product right here that you can buy at Michael's online or in store, it's the perfect consistency. So if you're struggling with consistency and let's say you don't even wanna use these, but you're struggling on consistency, go buy a bottle just so you can see what the average consistency of acrylic pouring should be, okay? So as I was saying, you can do this pour with ready to pour paints or you can make your own paints. Now, you can do a paint, any brand, mixed with some water and glue and get some pretty amazing results. If you add silicone, you can use Floetrol water and glue. You can use Floetrol and water. You can use an actual pouring medium. And depending on the type of paint that you're using, you may not have to add water. So for example, if you have fluid paints like gold in here and you use an actual pouring medium, it's the perfect consistency. You don't have to add water. I have an older video, and I will try to remember to link it in the, the description. Six different recipes for acrylic pouring. Now, why do people want to use different recipes if one works? Well, again, it depends on your budget. Using a pouring medium is a little more expensive for some than using just water. Another reason is pouring medium, flow trawl glue, they all give different type of results. So the best thing I can tell you is to get a couple of recipes together and try the same pour doing using all of those recipes that you have and see what look you like the best. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine a couple of things. And I know this can sound confusing to you, when you're just first starting out, but I'm gonna to try to break it down as simple as possible. I wanna use my ready to pour paints, but here's one thing I don't like about them. They are super transparent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a paint 
that is not transparent and add a few drops to my paint that I'm using from this bottle, the ready mixed pouring paint, just to make it more opaque. Okay, that's the only reason why I'm going to do that. Then there are some colors I wanna use that this brand does not offer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my own colors using their pouring medium, okay? Now I've tried this pouring medium and it provides the same glossy finish and the same amazing results with silicone that these paints offer. So that's a really good thing. This is a really great pouring medium. Again, you could buy them at Michael's. I'm going to make a few of my own colors. I'm gonna show you how I do it. And then we're going to do this pour. So let's get started. Here is my Crazy Eights painting ready to go. If you're looking for a unique one of a kind painting, it's a 12 by 24 canvas with a resin finish. Lots of fun shapes and colors. And I just really love this painting a lot. So. Send me an email if you're interested in it, artbytamiayahoo.com. So as I mentioned, I want to deepen up some of my colors because they are super transparent. The problem that transparent paints can cause is that you can see other colors that you're adding into your pore through them. And it can sometimes, depending on the colors that you use, make your paints look very muddy. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to just add some into my cup. However much paint I need is how much I'm going to put in there. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to take my teal golden and just add a few drops. Now, how do you know that a paint is transparent or not transparent? See how you cannot see the lines? Hold on a second. These bottles, they have a, a grid on them with lines, black lines. You could kind of faintly see them through there. So if you can really faintly see them, it's an opaque. Also, on the back, they have a grid, transparent, opaque, and then they have a little black. So. Even though it's a semi-opaque, it's really close to an opaque. So I'm considering this an opaque paint, which means you cannot really see through it. All right. So for my paint here, I'm just going to add a few drops of this just to darken it up so it's not so transparent. Okay. These little new reusable stirring sticks from Color Art, I absolutely love. They're so cute. You can get them, in, and I think they're like five for four fifty or something like that. But you can use my discount code. I'm so tired of buying wooden sticks, so this is my way to save some money on that. I got like twenty of them, and I just rinse them off when I'm done, and they're clean as a whistle. So you see, that's all I did to this. Now this paint, other than adding the silicone, is all done. It's ready to go. Very simple. And you can see the consistency there. That is a really good consistency for those average style acrylic pour techniques. Next, I'm going to show you how I'm making the colors that I don't have. So I'm using the Artist Left Pouring Medium. However much paint I want to make for that one color is how much pouring medium I'm going to put in that cup. And then I'm going to take my golden fluid turquoise and I'm going to add a few drops in, mix it in. And if it's a good color, 
then I'll stop. If it's not dark enough for me, then I'll add more. But the most important thing is because I used a fluid paint, I do not have to add water. Whenever you can get away with not adding water to your paints, it's a good thing. Okay? So that's a really nice phthalo turquoise color. And that's what I'm looking for. Okay? And now I already know, because I don't have to add water, that it's this the same exact consistency as my other one. So that really helps when it comes to consistency, not having to adjust. Now, if I added something like a heavy body paint to this, I would have to add water because this is much thicker, okay? So that's how my colors are gonna, gonna be mixed up. The white that's going to be on my canvas is going to be this right here. They're already to pour white same brand and i'm literally pouring it out of the bottle onto the canvas not adding anything to it i will tell you once i have all my colors ready that i'm going to put in one drop of silicone into each and every color except for this white and the silicone that i use is called spot on silicone it's sold on amazon it's in my amazon shop it's, for me, the one that provides the best results. Here it is right here. Do not be afraid to use silicone. Yes, you have to take the extra step of cleaning it afterwards, but that little bit of elbow grease is so worth the magical results that you get. So as I said, just one drop into, well, that was two. It comes out super fast into your colors is all you need. Unless you're making double the amount, then you use double the product, correct? So for this technique, for you beginners out there, the first thing we need to do is put our base paint down, then we add our colors, then we do the marble. I'm gonna show you all of that. I'm gonna get set up and we're gonna start this crazy eight pour. I can't remember if I mentioned or not, but I do have a good video for cleaning silicone off your canvas. And I will put that in the description for you to watch. Let me take this opportunity to show you how the back of my canvas, I just tape it off, put the push pins in the four corners. That is my signature and wax seal that I affix to all my paintings. Very simple. So to speed things up a little bit here, I decided to go on time lapse and all I'm doing is I'm adding a little bit of white to the bottom of every cup and then just layering my colors in one at a time. I have a deep magenta, a hot pink, a teal, a deep violet, a bright iridescent gold, and some black, and some blue, purple, <laughs> uh, and then a little bit of white on top. All of the colors had silicone in them except for the white and the gold. And then I just poured some of that white paint out of the bottle onto the canvas. So now I'm going to do five flip cups and to be able to achieve that, I'm going to use this swiping tool made by Tracy Reed Designs. The link is in the description. I love her swiping tools. Uh, they, they work really great, make really great contact and they're not that expensive. So I just literally placed it over the top of the cup and then flip the cup over and slide it down onto the canvas. And a little bit of the paint got out on me. I haven't done this in a long time, but a majority of it stayed in there. So when it's time to remove the cup, you wanna slide it and pull it off. You don't want to lift the cup straight up. 
or else it will drip into your puddle and ruin your design. So you kind of pull it to the side and then lift it off to the side. Before I go toss my marble in here, I just want to show you. There's a few cells, but watch, you know, wait until I'm done with the marble and watch what happens when I torch this paint. You just will not believe the cells that erupt out of this. So I'm going to put my marble right in the center, just like so. And let's roll it around, baby. Hey, here we go. Let's see what kind of magic. Mr. Marble gives us. I'm telling you, this is so addicting. <laughs> So very addicting. <laughs> got a lot of paint on here though. It's, some of it's got to come off. So just going around, round and round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Woo! I almost lost it that time. Yes, yes, yes. Almost. All right, she's coming off. <laughs> marble drop. Instead of a mic drop, I got a marble drop. So now you just want to tilt your canvas to get some of that paint off and uh, shape your composition a little bit more than what the marble did. And uh, then it's time to torch. Yes, indeed, my friend. Yes, indeed. Let me get you close. All right, so I have you way zoomed in here so that hopefully you can see what happens. There goes my ice again. Let's see. Look at this. Is this not gorgeous? Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, I'm about to start singing Annie. <laughs> tomorrow, tomorrow. Sorry, I just had to look at this. I'm telling you, these paints are phenomenal. And let's say you don't want cells all over. You can kind of just pick areas to torch. And leave it at that. Big Mama loves me some cells, though. <laughs> Let's go around this way. Oh, oh my goodness! I'm gonna hold you guys in my hands while I do this. Ah, I love it. First of all, look at these. Look at, look at, look at these. Okay, that's the first thing. Oh, there's a heart. I see a heart. There's a heart in here. There's hearts. A heart. Where is it? Right there. Okay. I'm too excited. Hold on. Okay. Watch this area. See that? See them developing? Isn't that cool? Sorry, it's hard to do this and hold the camera at the same time. All 
I absolutely love it. Again, do not be afraid to use silicone. Look at that. It's, it's just so cool. All right, we'll go over this way. See what we get there. Yeah, I love it. All right, so I'm going to finish torching this bad boy. Oh, those look like nipples. <laughs> Doesn't that look like a nipple? Bing, bing, bing. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, let me finish torching this. Well, that's done. You saw me. Oh, by the way, you can even torch the sides if you want. Um, you saw me methodically torching so that it wasn't in I have some places where there are no cells this is just I miss this old school kind of pouring I really do just you know some flip cup and some silicone you can get some really magical magical pieces out of doing something so simple and then if you take it a step further and go in and hand paint block some of this out and uh, maybe make a Elise Fournier does it the best if you ever want to see somebody take an acrylic pour and turn it into something magical go watch her because you know it's just bonkers but anyway, there's a lot of crazy looking things, including my three nipples here. Actually, they're all, oh boy. <laughs> oh, I made a painting like this before and called it Land of a Thousand Breasts because it was nothing but a bunch of breasts. Now that I'm looking, they all look like that. But hey. There could be worse images in there. Usually there are with me. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click like. Please subscribe. Again, I do many, many, many tutorials. Uh, full mixing tutorials and all of that. So check it out. Playlist is what you want to click on. And check out all the old or older videos. Check out all the, the links in the description for product links and uh, coupon codes and all that. I have, <laughs> this is very distracting now. <laughs> I'm going to stay over here. Um, I have a link, an affiliate link for Blick. And you can buy all the golden paints, all your pouring supplies there. All except these paints, that would be michaels.com. I do not have a code for them. I apologize but anyway check that out and if you're on instagram make sure you follow me i've been posting a lot on there um my link is in the description it'll take you right to my instagram page and you could follow me there tiktok pinterest facebook join united we pour fluid art group there's a new challenge for may that's going to be issued any day so if you want to take part in that challenge and maybe win something you can join us over there and also don't forget tonight 7 30 p.m i am doing my sponsor giveaway and my viewer appreciation giveaway i will be live tonight at 7 30 p.m eastern standard time right here on youtube so my friends i hope you enjoyed my I don't know what you want to call it, painting. But if you did, consider subscribing if you are not. I love you all. And until the next time, happy pouring. <laughs>